We are here within this nowness to commune with you about expanding your consciousness so that you can perceive and move into alternate, parallel, and higher dimensional realities. Your consciousness is shifting in between that which you have once perceived as yesterday or tomorrow. In fact, you are beginning to release the confines of time that were bound to your third dimensional or even fourth dimensional thinking. Your fourth dimensional thinking moves faster than third dimensional thinking. However, as you move into your fifth dimensional thinking and states of consciousness, you are beginning to release your concept of time. Without time, that which has been in between who you want to be, what you want to do, or where you want to go is not there. That third dimensional in between was actually an illusion of the third and fourth dimensional matrix. As you continue your acceleration of consciousness, you will find that as your consciousness peaks into your higher states of consciousness, such as your alpha, theta waves, or gamma brain waves, you perceive something that seems to blink in and out of your reality. First it appears to be over there. Then you realize that it is to your right, or even within you. Increasingly, you are perceiving something that there is going on around you, over you, under you or even through you. But your third dimensional brain has no way in which it can interpret this situation. Furthermore, when you stay in higher states of consciousness too long, your third dimensional brain and ego becomes concerned and pulls you out of your reverie. Then in a flash, the 3D breaks go on and your attention is directed back into the third dimensional matrix back into the fourth dimensional matrix, back into time. The third and fourth dimensional matrixes are much like webs to which you automatically attach your third dimensional thoughts and emotions to create third dimensional thought forms. These third dimensional thought forms travel out into your world to gather other thought forms that are similar and bring them back to you. Therefore, if you have a third dimensional thought of, I would like to have a wonderful conversation with some people that I care for, that energy field will come back to you, and soon you receive an email or a Facebook or a phone call from somebody who is important to you. If your thought form is fear-based, it will still go out. For example, if you were to say, I am lonely. I have no friends. No one ever connects with me. What you will see in return is that no one will connect with you. As you are moving into your higher states of consciousness, you will be able to actually perceive these thought forms. You will not perceive them in the same manner as you perceive a book or a newspaper with your third dimensional perception. Instead, you will likely think you are imagining them. Yes, you are imagining them because imagination is fifth dimensional thought. Many of you are still using your third dimensional cause and effect thinking, but you are slowly realizing that when you put out positive loving thoughts, something positive and loving will come back to you. You are also realizing that if you are in the midst of a situation that you don't know how to deal with, instead of pondering and worrying, you just say, Dear Higher Self, there is something that I need to understand. Could you please assist me? Then you wait for a thought form from your higher self to return to you. Because you called your higher self, you have made a different kind of thought form. You have made an interdimensional thought form. When you call into the higher dimensions and say, please assist me with this situation, you have used your free will to open up an interdimensional portal. This interdimensional portal connects you with one, or several of your higher dimensional expressions self with whom you can consciously receive multi-dimensional information. Your higher expressions of self could be angels, ascended masters, Elohim, and or higher dimensional galactic beings. We want you to know that we, your higher expressions of self, are all waiting for your call. We are all waiting because Gaia is a free will planet. Therefore we must wait until you call us. We see that many of you are calling us. But sometimes you are calling us with a low frequency message, such as, I hate it here. I want out of here. When are you going to come down and help me? These thought forms are a very low frequency because they are filled with fear and anger. The fact is that we are already here, but you can only perceive us via your higher states of consciousness. We are right here. We are in your room. 
We are in your house, we are walking next to you as you go to the grocery store. But you cannot perceive us because we resonate to a higher frequency. We resonate to the fifth dimension and beyond. In order for you to be able to perceive us, you need to expand your consciousness out of your beta waves, even beyond your alpha dream waves and into your theta and your gamma meditation waves in which you can release time. With your alpha waves, time goes faster because you are doing something that you enjoy and something that feels good to you. But, it is only with theta and gamma wave consciousness that you are able to begin to release your addiction to 3D time. When you move into a gamma wave reality, there are no longer thoughts or words lined up sequentially, such as 1, 2, 3, 4. Reality in these higher dimensional realities is much like flowing and floating through an ocean. However, if you are flowing through this higher dimensional ocean and desire a sequence of events or thoughts, you will fall out of that reality. You fall out because your attachment to the time that creates the concept of sequence demands lowers your consciousness out of the perceptual range of that world. Sequence is based on the timing of first, second, third, etc. When everything occurs within the now, there is no first, second, etc. There is only a swirling, joining, flowing, becoming, entering, and or leaving. Feel your consciousness as you allow your mind to flow from one concept to allow a unique concept to flow into the next concept, which expands into the next concept. As an example, feel the thought form of I wish to experience an intimate relationship with my higher self. As soon as you make that statement, you create an interdimensional thought form. That interdimensional thought form flows up into the higher dimensions in search of your higher self. Now, what goes out comes back. Hence, when your higher self receives this information, it may say, Oh, we have a calm link with a member of our lower dimensional self who is able to respond to and perhaps even communicate with us. We, the members of your higher self, transmit a message to your higher consciousness to say hello. Of course, we do not say hello in the English language. We say hello within our light language. We say hello by tickling your third eye, whispering into your expanded hearing, touching you softly on the heart, putting our arm around you and or making you feel safe and loved. Hence, when we say hello, we are here and would love to communicate with you. You do not hear that in English or any human language. However, you may perceive something that you do not know how to understand. This something, someone, some feeling, some thought, some energy, feels as if it has just flown past you, is encircling you, and or is over you sending you unconditional love. If you can be still, if you can be very quiet in your brain and can listen with your heart, your third eye may be able to perceive that there is an energy field that is coming into your awareness. You do not know what that energy field is saying to you at first, but you can feel that it is there. If you were to become frightened, your energy field would fill with fear. Then, your higher dimensional self would instantly leave that energy field because we no longer participate in the energy field of fear. However, if you can remember to quickly transmute your energy field back into the higher dimensions by sending it unconditional love and violet fire, we can link our personal and collective energy patterns with yours to facilitate our interdimensional communication portal. Through this portal, we are able to send you our unconditional love and multidimensional light to assist you to expand your consciousness to consciously receive our higher dimensional communications. You see, we are being just like you. In fact, we are the version of you that resonates to a higher resonance of vibration. When you have a conscious connection with your higher resonance, you simultaneously connect with us, your own higher self. Via your own higher states of consciousness you can open your third eye, connect with your high heart, and ground your interdimensional essence deep into the core of Gaia. When you ground this energy field into the core of Gaia, it is much like plugging it into a universal language translator. This universal language translator will lovingly place entire messages into your consciousness and amplify them so that it is easier for you to consciously experience our communication. When you have gone through the process of accepting, knowing, serving, and grounding our messages, 
You are instructing your third dimensional brain to connect its operating system with your multidimensional mind. Then, you may even be able to perceive your higher self through your portal of light. However, you will not perceive your higher self in the same manner that you might see your physical self in a mirror. In fact, you will not perceive your higher self at all until you are able to believe you have a higher self, as you will not perceive what you do not believe. If you can believe in your own self, you can say, I would love to speak with you. Your answer will not come via words, but via interdimensional energy thought forms. Therefore, be aware of the higher frequency energy patterns that enter your pineal gland. Share these messages with your third eye, so that you can better understand them and store them in your high heart for safekeeping and further understanding. Also, do not forget to ground these messages from self in the core of Gaia. Then, share your messages with others who are ready. Don't worry about who is ready. Just trust yourself and you will know who is ready to receive what information. Be sure to leave a seed of this message planted in the core of Gaia. Then all the seeds of all the answers to all the question can merge into unity consciousness and unconditional love to dream, expect, create, own, and protect Gaia's new and highest octave of her planetary body. Every thought of unconditional love for Gaia and every blessing you send Mother Earth will return to you threefold. Therefore, dear Ascending Ones, honor yourself so that you can be able to more totally honor others and the planet on which ye live. Blessings to you all, and please remember to keep your interdimensional portal open.